Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Better Horses. You know, Susie and I are excited this week because we get to stay in our own hometown of Kansas City and visiting the American Royal, who's hosting this year's annual Quarter Horse Show. That's right, Ed. There's so many reasons that everybody loves the American Royal. There are all sorts of different breed horse shows that go on. There's livestock shows. There's the big barbecue competition, the PRCA rodeo, and lots of different vendors. And I think there's something for everybody here. You know, and for all you history buffs out there, the American Royal started in 1899 with its first horse show in 1905. And more importantly, and the claim to fame, the American Royal started right here in Kansas City, the FFA. And more importantly, we have a baseball team named the Kansas City Royals, named after... The American Royal. That's right. Hello, everyone. My name's Ed Adams. And I'm Susie Arbo. And welcome to Better Horses. In our first segment, we introduce Mark Carroll with Mark Carroll Equine Marketing. Mark offers equine training, sales, and marketing services for horse events around the country. Located near St. Louis, Missouri, Mark puts forward a full suite of expertise when organizing the legendary American Royal Show. From the town of Mobile, Missouri, Kendra Weiss, a horse trainer with Twin Acres Horse Ranch, will present Snap, Crackle, Pop. This special horse dazzled the AQHA Championships, twice earning the rare distinction of super horse status. And it's the first animal ever inducted into the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame. Next, we get some sound advice from Jim Dudley on ranch horses and ranch riding. Jim is from Dudley Quarter Horses out of Columbia, Missouri. Jim holds judges cards in the NRHA, APHA, and AQHA organizations. And finally, a behind the scenes look at Carson Griggs. Carson Griggs is a horseman and a trail course designer living in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and is well known in the industry for his work in trail paths. Carson's gonna give us an insight on patterns, building, and riding and training over obstacles. So before you tack up, sit back and relax as we get into a deep dive with the American Royal. Make sure that you follow us on Facebook to see where we're at next on Better Horses. And also if you have any show ideas or feedback for us, we'd love to connect with you. So stay with us, we'll be right back. No matter what discipline of riding you do, training, showing, and everyday stress is hard on your horse's legs. Decra Veterinary Products is a leading lameness company that brought you Osphos. Osphos is a quadrinate injection, an intramuscular bisphosphonate to help control the clinical signs of navicular syndrome in horses four years and older. Ask your veterinarian if Osphos is right for your horse. Decra Veterinary Products is a proud sponsor of the American. I'm Mark Harrell, owner and manager of Mark Harrell Equine Marketing, where we manage and market horse shows and train and market horses for sale. What it takes to manage a horse show, no one understands until they've done it a few times. First few years, I ran a horse show at Ducoin State Fair. They'd, they'd hire me to manage their state fair, and it's a big show. And the staff that supported me would always want a list of what I needed. Well, my first year, I'm like, I didn't know I needed four picnic tables for the judges for lunch, or I needed judges stands at the side of the arena for trail until I needed them. So by your first one to your 10th one, you've learned, have a list, go talk to facility management, talk to the tractor driver, talk to the sound people, have all your ducks in a row and it makes for a much better show for the exhibitors. And, and you get to show early as a manager and you see the problems that's gonna come at noon instead of waiting until 11.30 to fix and you try to fix in the morning. We've had some shows that were so large that we had to call in extra judges. But to see that at eight in the morning is really hard. So you don't want to wait till four o'clock in the afternoon where you need six more judges to come in locally to find them. So you try to fix the problem, you know, before noon and they're there at two and you start managing two arenas instead of one. When the shows were so big, that's what 
that's what would happen when you have so many entries that you know you're not going to get done before midnight. We like to say the best show on earth is eight to five. It's really the best slogan you can possibly have. And it still holds true today. Everybody wants to go to dinner. There's so many nice restaurants in Kansas City. I'm the first one. It's like, let's get out of here so we can go to another new restaurant. You know? To run the horse show successfully, you have good people with you and behind you that no one even sees most of the time. Like Ashlyn is my person I go to here at the American Royal. She's worked for 12 months to make this show better than it was last year. But it, you know, by 10.30, you start saying, okay, lunch at 11.30. Um, the tractor driver, you know, he's the first one we need in the morning. So you gotta plan ahead the night before and have, have them ready and not wait till the last minute. With the judges, I do try to hire all of them. Um, I like to work with the ones I know that I've worked with before. And we try to make their experience as good as the customer's experience that's showing. We want them happy and, and easy to get along with, you know, and make their day flow too. So they're not um, frustrated if their paperwork's not ready. And that's where it comes to the scribes. We have six scribes here. They're all amazing. They come in early in the morning and they get all their scribe sheets ready. The headers are all on there. Not one person has asked me for a scribe sheet. And that's, that's rare. That's how good the quality is here of our scribes. Um, no one said that the math is wrong on a scribe sheet this week. It's very easy. It's real fast. The pattern goes real fast. The, the scribes have to be very well. So the, the scribes is just as important to the judge, and the judge depends on the scribe. And they're very, they're very complimentary of them here. It's been, it's been a very good week with the scribes helping with the judges. And just judges travel and judges hotels and getting them from the airport to the horse show, getting them from the hotel to the horse show morning and night. It's a challenge, but there's always somebody behind me helping, you know? So most of the time there's a local person providing transportation for those scribes and um, judges and ringmasters to help. I think the advantage of hiring a professional company to market your horse show is experience. We've done it. Um, I have a big following and I probably have a few people that doesn't, doesn't like me because I'm a little bit punctual, like, okay, you're a little bit late. Maybe I'll call you out on it the first time, but most exhibitors appreciate that we have it organized and take care of the footing. That's another big thing is you really, these horses are worth a lot of money. If the footing's bad, they won't come back. So as, if you hire me, first thing I'm gonna do is come in and check the footing, visit with the people driving the tractors. They know the facility better than I do, but I try to um, communicate with them of what I need. One of my favorite shows is the American Royal. I love the staff in the office here probably is um, number one why I come back. I've judged their youth show a couple times and we have a great time and the girls in the office come to St. Louis and, and we visit like we're real friends. And um, we have a good time when we're together and we work hard when we're here working together too. So um, it is one of my top, top two or three shows that I've ever done. I'm Mark Harrell from Caseyville, Illinois, owner and operator of Mark Harrell Equine Marketing. We're here in the beautiful city of Kansas City, Missouri, promoting the American Royal Horse Show. Thank you for watching Better Horses. Okay, amateurs and slacks, come on in together. Hey, cowboys and cowgirls. Don't go anywhere. We've got more better horses coming for you from the American Royal in Kansas City. We're here for the hardworking, the resilient. We're for the people who measure their days by what needs to get done, not by hours. Where kids learn responsibility at a young age and generations work side by side. Where work doesn't pause for holidays or bad weather, it just gets harder. Where value and hard work means more than the clothes you wear. We're Kleinschmidt's Western Store, Higginsville, Missouri. At Heritage Tractor, we strive to get customers in our area the right pieces of equipment at the best prices. Our John Deere Compact Tractor packages come fully equipped with the attachments you need to tackle any spring project. Check out our best-selling packages, including the DIY Digger Package, the Buffalo Package, and the Haymaker Package. We also have flexible spending options to meet any budget. Stop by your local Heritage Tractor location today or visit us online at heritagetractor.com. 
What do you get when you bring together one of the biggest names in veterinary medicine with one of the most caring and committed teams of horse health experts in the industry? You get a vaccine portfolio known for its quality and safety. A pharmaceutical line you can rely on to help manage pain and support performance. You get the products, programs and people of Merck Animal Health. My name is Kendra Wise, and this is Snap Crackle Pop. She's a two-time super horse with the American Quarter Horse Association. She's a 12-year-old gray mare. What makes her so special is her breeding. She is bred by the number one stallion in the nation, RL Best of Sudden, and then her mother is a producing dam. Most all of her foals have been show performers. This one in particular is a two-time super horse with the American Quarter Horse Association. So that's what makes her so special. She's athletic, she has ring charisma, she loves her job, she's a very sound individual. She's 12 years old and she's competed at the highest levels for 10 years now. In 2022, we were notified by the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame and they wanted to induct Brandy into the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame. And she was to be the first animal ever to be indu inducted. So they were all excited and, and we were too, to be honored with that. Um, we took Brandy there for the presentation and she came in and the crowd got to see her and then she signed autographs when we left. Well, she, she is the only horse to win a junior title and a senior title back to back in the super horse status. And there's a criteria to win super horse and it's very grueling. You have to show in a number of classes and then whoever has the most points at the end of the horse show wins. And these are the best horses in the world that come here and compete. When we took her to her first show to compete in the all around events, it was a show in Oklahoma City in February. So she was, had just turned four, and she won, she won. You know, and I'm a judge, so I have a pretty good eye at what we have, and I'm like, this is really something here. So from there, I mean, it's just so natural for her that it, I mean, it, it is work, but she's such an athlete that it's not that hard for her. We started um, Flushing Ache. She has never carried a baby. We use surrogate mothers. And um, her first foal we raised at the farm, and she won Super Horse this year in 2022. And that's actually the first time that a mare and then her baby has won. And what's really unique is that she's 12 and she's still competing. And she's 12 and she is still the leading money pleasure horse in the ne in the world. I'm of all time, not just this year. I mean, she's an incredible, incredible horse. But this is by far the best all-around horse we've had. I mean, I've had world champions, con but this is a unique individual right here. I'm Kendra Wise, owner of Twin Acres Horse Ranch in Moberly, Missouri. I have the famous Snap Crackle Pop right here next to me. She's the 2022 inductee into the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame, the first animal ever. Thank you for watching Better Horses. Hey cowboys and cowgirls, don't go anywhere. We've got more Better Horses coming for you from the American Royal in Kansas City. No matter what discipline of riding you do, training, showing, and everyday stress is hard on your horse's legs. 
Decra Veterinary Products is a leading lameness company that brought you Osphos. Osphos is a quadrinate injection, an intramuscular bisphosphonate to help control the clinical signs of navicular syndrome in horses four years and older. Ask your veterinarian if Osphos is right for your horse. Decra Veterinary Products is a proud sponsor of The American. We're here for the hardworking, the resilient. We're for the people who measure their days by what needs to get done, not by hours. Where kids learn responsibility at a young age and generations work side by side. Where work doesn't pause for holidays or bad weather, it just gets harder. Where value and hard work means more than the clothes you wear. We're Kleinschmidt's Western Store, Higginsville, Missouri. It's time to go with United Mosquito and Fly Control's premier fly system for fly control in your barn. Providing relief for horses from the stress of fighting flies. And also makes a barn more pleasant for everyone in the barn. Easy, effective, and safe. With United Mosquito and Fly Control, we provide a full service. You as the barn owner don't have to do anything. We go everywhere and take care of everything with our friendly, fast service. Call today at 913-558-3814 or email paul at unitedmosquito.com. The first time I came to the Kansas City Royal was in 1967. I think it might have been in 1966. I was on the FFA team that was doing the judging contest down here. And uh, I can remember the trains were still going by, the stockyards was out here. It was a lot of fun, a lot of cattle and so on. And I'm, I'm tickled that this Kansas City Royal is still going on right now, but it's, it's more uh, specialized in, we're just doing the horses right now. The cattle have kind of gone on. But uh, uh, this is a, a, a great facility, and, I, and we really enjoy coming here. Well, the ranch classes came about around 15 years ago, and uh, uh, the AQHA, 82, 84% of the membership don't show horses. 16 to 18% do. So they sent out uh, uh, questionnaires asking, how can we get some of the 84% to move over to the 16? So I thought that at the time, I thought, you know, let's, let's eliminate what the things that stop people from showing horses. And one of the things that stops people from showing horses is a $100,000 horse, is a $10,000 saddle, is a $5,000 outfit. So let's take them out of the, question, out of, out of the equation. And who are the 84%? They're recreational riders, okay? So let's make a class for a recreational rider. What's the most popular horse in America today? It's the horse that anybody can get on, walk, trot, lope down the mailbox, come back and not get killed, okay? He's a very saleable commodity. Let's get a class for him. So we, de we developed, it took three years, so the AQHA and, and, and with some help from myself and some other people, developed the ranch riding in the fact that it, 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 what it has turned into today is, 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 is it's, I, I would say it's probably one of the most popular classes of the horse show because it, it's geared to the average person. You know, it's geared to have fun. Uh, uh, most of these people out here, if you watch them, you know, they're talking to other people, they're smiling, they're having a good time. If the horse doesn't do well, well, they go back and they work on it a little bit and come back. They're not upset or mad or uh, disappointed. They just say, okay, we've got a problem, how do we fix it? And we go on. So it's been a real, real, uh, in my business, it's, 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 it's really been an, it enhanced my ability, uh, my, my financial ability to train horses and so on, and the fact that people have come to me uh, wanting to learn how to ride a ranch horse. And you don't have to be a rocket scientist to, to ride a ranch horse. Some of the other classes, you gotta be pretty specialized. Well, one of my philosophies, when they come to, <laughs> when they come to take lessons, they, they don't realize that I'm gonna give them 10 philosophies. And, 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 and basically, it's the things that I've learned, you know. And, and um, uh, the destination is the journey. You know, getting from point A to point B, when you get to point B, you think, huh, we made it. But really, the journey is the most important thing. How you get there, the, the, the problems you had, solving the problems, going around the corners and fixing the flat tires and meeting the people and uh, my daughter is a uh, materials engineer for Caterpillar in uh, Minneapolis and she said dad you know the reason I got my job is because of the horses 
because all you do is fix problems all day long. And that's what we do. We have, we, we have a problem, we gotta figure out what's wrong with it, how to fix it and go on. And, and those are life learned lessons. If somebody's interested in, in getting involved in the horse industry, especially the ranch riding, my uh, number one suggestion would be find somebody that you feel comfortable with, that you like, and, and go to a horse show and say, okay, I like that person over there, and say, and walk up and introduce yourself. Say, listen, I would like to be more involved. How do I do that? And you'll find that most everybody here wants to help you. You know, uh, uh, they'll stop, stop, spend some time. My best friends that I've got now, that's how they started. They come to and say, hey, how do we do this? And then all of a sudden, you, you, you build a conversation, you, you build a relationship, and, and they're lifelong friends, you know, after that. So that, that would be my first deal. Set yourself a budget, set yourself some goals, and say, this is where I want to be two years from now, five years from now, you know. And then uh, go that direction. You know, you have to have goals. You, have to, you just can't float around and say, okay, I want to be in the business. Set yourself a goal. It might be, uh, maybe you might think it's, it's, it's beyond your grasp, but you know nothing's beyond your grasp if you really, really want it. You set your goal and you make a plan and you work your plan. watching Better Horses, raising your horse experience. Those of us who devote our lives to the animals we love can recall a kind of dawning. time when something inside us awoke, like a seed planted deep within us and it taken root and begun to grow. And from that moment on, the path ahead was clear. That one seed set our course and determined who we would be, how we would live, forever connected to the land. We found purpose in these remarkable creatures that depend on us. At Stanley Premium Western Forage, we believe that purpose is what sets us apart and binds us all together. It's why our family built a company dedicated to supporting, enriching, nourishing the animals we all care for and this lifestyle we share. Stanley Premium Western Forage. Grown for the life we love. My name is Carson Griggs. I'm from Fayetteville, Arkansas, and I'm, we're here at the American Royal in Kansas City, Missouri. And uh, I am the trail course designer, and I'm also privileged enough to be able to design and set up our ranch trail courses here for not only this show, but about 35 other shows around the country. Um, and I go all over. I'm very fortunate to be here, and it's a truly a blessing to get to work with God's favorite, maybe second favorite animal compared to dogs. Sometimes our challenge is when we get someplace, if you don't bring a bunch of the equipment with you, you're really limited on what the facility's got or what you can be creative enough to round up at the show. Um, and then we've got to know the, the skill level sometimes of the exhibitors that are going to be where we go. because. We don't want to punish the weakest link, um, if that makes sense. Uh, we, we don't want to punish anyone for coming to play our games. So try to make the course fair for everyone. I, personally, 
I believe that ranch riding and this whole spread of ranch events is one of the fastest growing parts of our whole industry. Um, I think that it's, it's fun and it's popular because the barrier to entry is sometimes lower than some of the other events that we see at these types of shows. It's been a long journey for me personally. Um, I started when I was about 13 years old uh, helping Mr. Tim Camaro, who's been a great mentor to me. Um, but uh, I got to watch the polls. They said, here, there's a great job for you, Carson. All you've got to do is sit in this chair and when they hit something, go out and fix it. And little did I know what I was getting myself into. So. What should they practice at home before they come to the horse show? I think that uh, we should start, if we can get through the ranch riding pattern, we should be in a better area to do the ranch trail. We've got to make sure that we can do the things that are uh, mandatory for the course, like uh, being able to go over the bridge safely, opening a real gate, and dragging the log as well as a proper back and side pass that have got to be displayed in the pattern. I'm Carson Griggs from Fayetteville, Arkansas. We're here at the American Roll in Kansas City, Missouri. I'm glad to be the ranch trail and trail course designer here. And thank you for watching Better Horse. Closed captioning has been brought to you by Lina Weaver and Flattail Ranch. Hey, thank you for watching Better Horses. And if you've missed any of our shows, check us out at betterhorses.com where you can see all our episodes. You can also follow us on Facebook or listen to any of our podcasts right from your mobile device. And don't forget our newspaper coming out five times a year. You're going to love it.